This is the Samsung Vibrant Complete LCD Replacement. Getting started, power the device down. Secondly, remove the battery door, the battery, the SIM card, and the memory card, which is spring-loaded. I've already removed the seven screws holding the rear housing onto the device. So we remove those seven screws. Once that is accomplished, we want to take like our, our metal phone opening tool and we need to just come in between um, where you see the black plastic and the, uh, the trim from the faceplate. That's where we want to separate. And we're basically just going to wedge out all around the device and release all the clips that are holding this into place. Now occasionally you're going to have pieces like that uh, fall out or this button might fall out as well. Um, sometimes this little uh, rubber gasket will, will fall out. That belongs right here in this circle that we just go ahead and just put it right back in there right now so we don't forget about it later. And we can put this button back in there as well. And we'll just put this off to the side. We now need to switch tools. Let's grab our uh, plastic pick now, something that is not real destructive with circuits and small parts. Um, we have a couple cables that we have to disconnect. The camera, this has like a big uh, IC chip on here, a black chip. It's actually a connector, so we can pop that up and put the camera off to the side. Here's another little connector up here. Go ahead and pick that up from the right to the left cable here on the bottom that folds down and we have this other little antenna cable here want to un unpick that now our circuit board um, is almost free I take uh, like the, the metal uh, opening tool now and we need to separate this button right here it's got 3M adhesive making that stick down to this uh, housing that needs to get free and we can take our circuit board to the side. We're now ready to remove the LCD. Um, uh, entry point that you want to come in at is basically right between the glass and the uh, shiny blue um, trim. And you're just going to basically come in here and you're going to pierce in there and you're going to start lifting it up. And there's a reason why I'm starting at the top and not the bottom. Um, at the bottom where you have um, the four um, buttons here, there's a, a, a flex cable that is basically adhered to the inside of the LCD and we have to be real careful with that because we don't want to rip that cable so we'll get down there in a minute and I'll show you what we got to do. And up here you don't have to be real fragile or whatnot because the LCD is already broken. Now as we are pulling this back and peeling it we want to Be real cautious in here now. If if that breaks, that's that is fine. It's probably going to be easier for us to work. So I'll take that broken piece and get that off to the side out of our working area. Just come in here real carefully, and we'll be able to once we get it started here. I'll show you what we're trying to accomplish. Now I'm revealing that little flex cable underneath here. That's the orange little, little doodad. Sometimes you'll be able to um, pick this all up and uh, unpeel everything, but this is you know kind of severely broken down here, so it's probably just gonna come up like this. Being real careful not to hurt that cable. want to be real um, thorough with getting all the glass out. You definitely don't want to have any glass 
on this mid frame when we go to lay down our new screen because it'll cause that new LCD screen to to break real quick. So that's pretty much almost all the way clean at the bottom. Sometimes the glass can fall down into here and we want to watch the, watch for that. I'm going to take my my thumb over it because it sometimes proves to be a little bit better on feeling for things. that. Let's finish up at the top real quick. And if there's any adhesive still, you know, um, on the top or the bottom, I like to leave the adhesive on there as long as all the glass is off because it's going to help um, the top and the bottom portion of the LCD stick. I'm going to blow on it here. Okay, we are ready to install the new LCD screen. A couple things here real quick. You have to remove this protective film. This is um, going to reveal new adhesive all along here. I also want to, before we stick this, we want to take this little metal ear speaker shield and we want to put this on our new screen. Like so. Did you get that in the shot? Good. Okay. Now we're ready to um, insert the new LCD into um, the middle frame here. Um, we'll take our cable and we'll fill, uh, feed it right through this little slot here in the mid housing. Fold that down onto place, and we're going to go ahead and just start sticking this to the middle frame. I'm squeezing um, the LCD into place, trying to get that adhesive to set up. You, want, you definitely want it to bond to each other. Okay, the hardest part is done. Now we just got to put this thing back together, uh, make sure all of our cables are up and ready to accept uh, the circuit board. Okay, get that down in place. Let's start plugging in all of our little cables. There we go. Plug in the LCD here. Make sure our our power button here. This is the power button of the phone. That's nice and stuck. Now we need to feed our little antenna cable here and plug this guy in. Okay, good. Almost done here. This antenna cable needs to right in the slot right here, like so. Perfect, just like that. Now get our camera, put that back, plug this guy in. Ready for the, the rear housing. Just get it in at the top and push down nice and evenly all around. At this point, we would put our seven screws back in the foam. Get our battery, put your memory card in, your me uh, memory card and SIM card, and let's power the device on. The Samsung Vibrant Complete LCD.